It is time for another Theme Park Coasting Top 10 video where we count down the top 10 rides and attractions at theme parks all around the world. So join me today as we count down the top 10 rides at Hershey Park. Starting off at number 10 we have Sidewinder and no matter whether you have ever wanted to go upside down backwards or are just looking for your next big thrill then this is the ride for you. Similar to many of the other Vekoma boomerangs from around the world, once you have boarded your car, you will slowly rise to the top of a lift hill, which is then closely followed by a cobra roll and a loop. However, the fun has only just begun, because you will then climb up another lift hill before doing it all again backwards. How cool! but also rather petrifying is that. You can't have a theme park without a classic and Hershey Park is no exception because for our number 9 spot we have Comet. Now with this ride originally opening all the way back in 1946, this has definitely been a fan favourite for a while now and for good reason as not only is this ride surprisingly smooth, but for a ride of its age to have so many amazing airtime hills, bank turns in addition to those beloved woody drops, after riding trust me when I say you will be blown away and want to head on it again and again and again, especially if you get the back row. From a classic Woody to a modern one, coming in for our number 8 position we have Wildcat and it has taken the words wooden roller coaster to the next level. Created and manufactured by the famous GCI as their first ever roller coaster, this legendary ride would easily be at the number 1 spot for the majority of theme parks, which shows both how awesome the attraction itself is as well as the theme park in general. The ride is no way near though, just drops and sharp turns as the name Wildcat actually comes from the now defunct Woody which operated from 1923 to 45. Nevertheless, I don't think it is as cool as this one. If you are scared of heights then skip to number 6. As for our number 7 spot we have Hershey Triple Tower and with the tallest one out of the three standing at a height of 189 feet, this is definitely not for the faint of heart. Nevertheless, for anyone who is up to the challenge, you will get the choice out of three towers, Hershey's and Reese's, but do not let these yummy names fool you as one of the towers is a standard drop tower, but the other two are very, very different, as instead of just dropping you down, you will be shot up into the air, blasted to the ground and bouncing non-stop, causing even the biggest thrill seekers in the group to let out a little scream. For the number 6 spot on our top 10 list, Things are about to turn a little bit competitive as we have Lightning Racer, a wooden roller coaster with a twist, but we will get onto that later on. Firstly though, I am going to talk about the layout itself, as with all of those smooth twists, turns and airtime hills, I don't think I have ever seen such a satisfying roller coaster to be on. Although we are no way near over yet, because this ride jewels. Yes, you heard me right, jewels. So whilst you head around all of these satisfying elements, you will also be interacting with the other car and you do not need to be a rocket scientist to know that is totally wicked. Top 5, what, what, and coming in for this position we have Fahrenheit, the hottest ride at the park. Okay, that was a horrendous joke. But the ride sure isn't, with this Intamin Steel roller coaster really being like nothing that I have ever been on. As soon as you are boarded and your lap bars have been lowered, you will then start by climbing up a vertical lift hill. And from here on out, words literally cannot do this ride justice. 
you will plummet at a 97 degree angle, complete six inversions and do some of the most unique elements that I have ever seen on a ride, all within 1 minute and 25 seconds. So if that doesn't make you want to ride, I honestly do not know what will. A storm has just hit Hershey Park and there is no better way to escape the storm than on our number 4 spot Storm Runner. Situated within Pioneer Frontier Land of the park, before you even get onto the ride itself, you will feel immersed in all of the incredible atmosphere that the park has created, and the ride does not disappoint either. Featuring everything from an initial 75 miles per hour launch to a 150 foot top hat to even a flying snake dive, whatever that is, this attraction may be short, but it sure is sweet, and there is no time which I ride and do not get blown away by the Storm Runner. Da ding ding. Here we enter the top 3 rides at the park, and taking this position, we have no other than the Great Bear which isn't funnily enough a wooden roller coaster that you'd probably associate with the name, but instead a B&M invert. Nevertheless, from the name being a little bit odd, this is still such a totally raw awesome ride for the thrill seekers out there, with you being able to soar around many sharp turns and elements above both land and lake. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention that due to this ride being a BM invert, all of this will be done with your legs dangling, providing some thrills and fun that will never be forgotten. Between number 2 and number 1 it was tough, however after a lot of consideration we have decided to put Candemonium at the number 2 position, and no, not because it is themed towards candy with lots of chocolate coloured track and giant candies everywhere making me feel hungry literally every time I ride, but in fact it is a really enjoyable and fun attraction. Once boarded, of course if you are brave enough to ride, you will rise 210 foot and brace yourself because this is then followed by a 77 degree drop, 250 foot heels, 7 moments of airtime, in addition to many twists, turns and so so much more. Wow, that is a lot and therefore a trip to Hershey Park is no way near complete without taking a trip on Candemonium. We have made it to the number one spot and for the best ride at the park, we have no other than Sky Rush, and where do I begin when talking about the ride? As if I was going to talk about every great thing, we would literally be here all day. Yet here are a few of my favourite parts. For starters, that shoot off lift hill, fast turns and those airtime hills which you complete on the 3600 foot of track, the camera can honestly not do justice for. Nevertheless, the best part of the ride for me has to be that it is flawless. Therefore, as long as you get the end of one of the two seats, you will be able to experience all of this fun and go over the lakes with your legs dangling, really bringing the attraction from the number three spot to the number one that you will want to ride again and again and again. That is it from our top 10 video today. Of course you will have your own opinions and we would love to see them in the comment section below. Also if you have enjoyed the video at the top we have got two videos that we know you would love and at the bottom there is our Patreon as well as subscribe button. But with all that said there is only one thing left to say. My name is Tom Derrick from Theme Park Coasting and I will see you for the next video. Goodbye.